So keep tuning in to me. You know, keep tuning in to me. And J-Rock WWE on the Ustream. And J-Rock WWE on Twitter. Worldwide. That's me. You can Google me, baby. You can Google me. If you want to Google me, Google me right now. While I'm talking this little boring line right here. And this boring line is going to be about this bicycle that's upside down. You know, look at it. You see, it's just upside down. Why is it upside down? You know what I'm saying? How long is it going to take them to fix this damn bicycle? It's been here for how long? Come on. It's just taking enough space. Can I sell it? I'm going to put it on auction today. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, this bicycle is for auction. Hey, but I'm up. If you want a place a bid for it. All you gotta do is call 1-800-BULLSHIT and this phone will ring, call 1-800-BULLSHIT and this phone. Okay, here we go, this bike is now going for $25, do I hear 25, 25, hey, hey, we got, we got 25, 25, 75, 75, 75, 75, hey, 75, 7, here we got 7, 6, 7, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, one hundred, 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 one hundred
one thing you can do is quit. I don't think you're a quitter, man. You know, I'm pretty sure you would like nothing to get your hands on. And I promise you, man, you will get your chance. And if you beat me, oh well. His own. Now, not, uh, not only Tyus O'Neal, he's blind. You know, Tyus O'Neal. Woo 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 woo. What's that? Come on, man. Yeah, what's wrong with you, brother? Yeah, I did too. I was nice enough to check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Tyus O'Neal and his partner, Darren Young. And they were in WWE not long. He might feel a little insulted by me. Because, see, when I was walking in WWE North Charleston at the North Charleston Coliseum, uh, I went to go get me, I just came back from getting a soda or something like that. You know, so I was standing out there earlier and I've been out there all day. WWE superstars had just now arrived to the arena. And inside that uh, overpass between uh, the North Charleston Coliseum and uh, next to the embassy, you know, you got the embassy hotel and this overpass right there. You see a lot of WWE uh, set up going on, a lot of WWE producers and stuff talking to WWE staff, like the primetime players while they were outside talking. Uh, also, too, you had two double glasses, you know, over there where you could get a nice glimpse of them setting up the arena. That's how I verified what I already knew, that it was going to be a cage match going down between John Cena and Randy Orton. I was at ringside behind where the uh, announcers were, were supposed to be, but they weren't there because it's the WWE live event, and it was on a Saturday. You know, I yell it out. It makes you feel some kind of like a portal. And you got other people, you know, listening to it. And I can feel it inside my heart. I hear people talking. And any arena I go to, they're all live. These WWE fans, they looked at me. They said, they, they can just tell. You know, they, they say, that's a WWE guy. This is the one right here. I got a little jealous sometimes, you know, when I... I get very jealous. You know, I, even, I had my WWE championship with me. That's back when they had WWE. I had my WWE championship with me, you know. I got jealous. Because I would look at other people who had titles. And I would just get so offended. I, I, I don't know what that would be. Not even that bad, you know. So bad, you know. I mean, from these people who take pictures of me when I go to WWE events, right? I don't know. But to all WWE fans who make me feel like I'm somebody, I really do appreciate it. I love you all, you know. And when I walk and I hear these people talk good, good about me, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure some of you, you got your people that's going to be high alert. You know, they DTA. That's a good way to be. Don't trust anyone. You know what I'm saying? It's just awesome, you know, to experience it firsthand. WWE Brooklyn experienced it firsthand with The Rock returning to action. It was awesome. And last night after, uh, you know, the whole show, then we had The Rock um, come out there inside that movie, Driver. That was an excellent moment. We caught that last night again. Watch another classic movie by The Rock. 